every pastor during the seventh year of his service in any local church should experience a seven-week sabbatical leave. Uh, the advisory board then took the initiative that when I came to my six-year vote at the district assembly that uh, they would grant me a seven-week sabbatical leave, and uh, which privileged Shirley and I to go to Antigua, Guatemala, where I could uh, learn to habla español, at least muy, muy poquito. Uh, so uh, we spent the entire month of August in um, Antigua, Guatemala, which was, it gave me the privilege of devoting attention only on something I was interested in and nothing else. I think the sabbatical is one of the greatest gifts under, of understanding that our church has come to in these years uh, when, when pastor burnout is so, so high. We find it's a biblical principle, the idea of, of the sabbatical, that even the ground, if you're a farmer, uh, or you're a grower, every so often you've got to let your fields rest in order for them to yield the crop that you desire. And so it's, it's, it follows in the ministry as well. And so when this idea of the sabbatical came, um, it really followed naturally in the biblical uh, process that there would be a time of rest so you, could, so you could refocus and rethink and find peace for just a little while because it's a it's a continual thing fatigue, fatigue has a you know plays a heavy role i think a, a very heavy role in the area of ministry that i know i was underestimating prior to sabbatical didn't know how tired i was going into the sabbatical time uh, even though i knew i was tired i didn't realize i was as tired as i was out of that group that i graduated with less than four of them are in full-time ministry now less than half of them are still married to the same spouse and when I've talked with them they've talked about the stresses of, of ministry that, that added to it. To say that the church caused it I, I don't think is fair but, but the added. Had those pastors had a time of rest after so many years I, I, think, I think we we would have seen something different and I think that's where the sabbatical understanding is really coming into its day uh, and I think we're going to see we're going to see some pastors that stay longer in their churches. Uh, I know from uh, uh, being on, on on the district staff, um, that's a huge thing. Is is seeing pastors stay with their churches through ups and downs. But there reaches a point where I think we began to be less effective, and I was becoming, I think, less effective in some ways. I really wanted to do something different. I have the desire for that. I'm not afraid of change and something that's new and exciting, but I needed some tools to do that. And so the church supported me in that and said, go to these places. They paid for the you know, airfare and meals and lodging and all that. And uh, as a result, uh, there's been significant changes in you know attitude and spirit and a willingness to to try new things sabbatical was um, a very timely thing for me it, it was uh, i was at the end of myself both physically and emotionally as i look back on it i think uh, there there have been several benefits of the sabbatical one it it lengthened my tenure here at faith community well, I would have to say that the sabbatical that came uh, six and a half years into my ministry there at Grace was probably the one thing that allowed me to, to recharge, rethink, refocus myself in ministry to come back and spend another four or five years at the same location. Uh, there are times when you've been somewhere and, you, and you're doing this, the same thing day in and day out with the same group of people the the idea of stepping back from that and my and my people stepped up and they said okay we're going to take on these different roles and i remember going back after my sabbatical one of my board members came up and said you know what pastor we did a pretty good job and we did okay without you and they, and he meant that humorously but that made me feel so good steve is that you got it you you got it that ministry is not about what, did, what is this pastor going to do to make this thing happen, but what are we going to do as a community to move this thing forward for God?